What is up, y'all? This is Andy with Poster Grind, your neighborhood art director that designs movie posters for a living. Today, I wanted to share with y'all this quick and easy way to make some fantastic looking polished steel typography using 3D and materials in Illustrator. We're gonna go ahead and start this in Illustrator and then copy and paste it, put it into Photoshop and add some final touches. <laughs> What? All right, as soon as you have Illustrator and Photoshop fired up, you're gonna to wanna to start in Illustrator. Go ahead and hit T on your keyboard and that's going to bring up your type tool. And then just type out whatever you wanna type. I went ahead and typed out heavy metal, as you can see, and the name of the font is called Amador, and this is a black letter font, and you can go ahead and find this as well on the Adobe Creative Cloud. Now, once you have that, you're gonna wanna change the color of your type from black to something else so that you can see the three-dimensionality. So just double click on your colors and select another color. I'm just gonna go with this yellow, off yellow, and then once you have your color, we're gonna go ahead and turn this into a three-dimensional object. Now I have both pieces of type selected. I'm just gonna to go to 3D and materials. And if that window is not already activated, go on up to window and then in window, you should find 3D and materials right up here at the top. Once you have that open, all you do, this is really easy, is hit inflate. And like that, we have three-dimensional typography. For this one, I'm gonna leave the depth at 10 pixels. But down here on rotation, I'm just going to add the Y axis two degrees and then hit enter. And that's just gonna make it a little bit more three-dimensional. The next move is to go to materials. And in materials, you're gonna have a lot of different options. There's some pre-installed materials, but for this particular polished material, you're gonna have to go to the Adobe Substance 3D Assets. So just hit this little icon right here, and that's going to take you to the Adobe Substance 3D Assets. And then go to this section right here, materials. And then once you're in materials, select free, and that'll take you to the free materials. And what we're gonna do is download the SBSAR file for steel polished. So scroll down a little bit and you'll find it right here. Just hit the download button. And then once it's downloaded, go back to your Illustrator. And then you're gonna wanna hit this plus sign and go to add materials. And once you're in materials, go to steel polished and hit open. And that's going to give you your new material to use. So as soon as you have that, all you have to do is click on that material and bam, we have our steel polished typography. But now all we have to do is make a few adjustments to get the look that we're going for. And you can see that there are plenty to choose from. So if you scroll down, the ones I wanna mess around with, I'm gonna drop the steel roughness to 0.11. Then I'm gonna put the oxidation at 0.31. Then I'm gonna crank up polish roughness all the way to one, and then I'm gonna clean it up a little further with the erase stain to 0.86. Now that we have that completed, we can go up to lighting. Right here, it shows one. We're gonna add another light source by hitting add light, and then we're gonna move that to the side just a tad so that we have two light sources coming in. And then from here, and then we're just gonna reduce the height to 31, and then we're gonna reduce the softness to 0%, and then reduce the intensity to 22%. You can go ahead and add your shadows here, but I'm gonna elect not to and just go straight to rendering this by hitting this button up here and then I'm gonna go to ray tracing and I'm gonna keep my quality at high then I'm gonna hit render. Now here's the part of the tutorial where I'm gonna ask you to hit that like button if you've learned anything up until this point or you like this video, thanks so much. Now that I have it rendered, I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste these individually into Photoshop. So I'm start with heavy hit Command C, go to Photoshop, make sure you have a file open, and then just hit Command V, and I'm gonna drop it in as a smart object. Once it's in, just hit Enter, and then go back to Illustrator. We're gonna bring in Metal now by hitting Command C, go back to Photoshop, hit Command V, and then hit OK for the smart object. The reason I did that is so that you can mess around with the size of each word individually. Now I'm going to group these by hitting by selecting both layers and hitting Command G, and then I'm going to add a curves layer on top, and then I'm gonna to hit Option Command G to create a clipping mask, 
for that curves layer. And then I can mess around with the intensity of the light for both. And then you can also add hue saturation, use a clipping mask once again, option command G, and then play around with the coloring if you wanted to add a little bit of a tint to it. And like that, we have our three-dimensional polished steel typography ready to go on a movie poster or whatever graphics you're working with today.